Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will with DFS Army back with another video going over the price pick slate for Saturday, July 29th. Gonna be giving three picks for this video. Starting off with hitter fantasy score and we are going to Carlos Correa over seven. Took this one uh, on Friday as well. Today gonna be going up against Jordan Lyles. He actually has the exact same hits, runs, and RBIs odds and walk odds, which is kind of strange, but it's another great matchup, good hitting environment. It's going to be warm, um, 90 plus degrees. On um, Friday, he did manage to go over this, got a double and then a walk and managed to actually help out hit a five of six for our Flex Friday entry, one that I actually also posted for free. Just uh, something that I do on Fridays, giving a free six pick on my Twitter. And Correa, going to go by right back to him because his odds, um, once again, they are the exact same, showing his, his runs and eyes, are HRR prop. Um, it is a 2.5 line, plus 120. Of course, gonna be just on the under, but it's always great to see 2.5 for this line. Usually you don't see fade scores um, really, you know, seven or lower because of this. Now, Korea, he doesn't, steal so that's a big reason why you're not going to see him at like 8.5 or anything but again it is a great hitting environment going up against jordan lyles and lyles is just more of um innings eaters uh, innings eater at this point he's not someone that's going to k a lot of guys he um yeah he's an okay but honestly below average pitcher <laughs> um his era 6.19 Expected shows that he's actually been unlucky, so he could be, you know, better, but uh, still, out of 5 ERA, you're not a great pitcher. And for Lyles, he doesn't really have, like, uh, he's, I mean, righties, lefties, he's been worse against lefties, but he's just someone who doesn't really excel at, like, a specific thing. And Correa, he's a great hitter. That's what he's known for. Um, he actually hasn't had a great year really uh this season but also someone that has uh better expected stats 229 average 244 xba and his some of these other stats they look kind of in line with some of these previous seasons um but it's a good match with jordan lyles he's on a twins team that does have a very high total um at a 5.5 line right here yeah and the over is actually a minus 105 now so better than the plus money that was earlier so people are definitely liking the twins to score a lot of runs for this uh for today so korea he actually batted lead off on um friday so could uh at least he's gonna be hitting at the top of the order so that's great to see the away team as well so you're looking at maybe five at bats which is excellent here and then the royals bullpen of course they're nothing really special uh if it does get to that point or it, it is but they're trading for this Chapman away, so Royals team, not a team that's going to be contending. Really like this one, Carlos Correa over 7. And then the next um, hitter play. Now this one comes with a little bit of risk, actually right next to him. Francisco Lenore over 7 as well. So the concern for him, and also Pete Alonso, if you do want to make it a stack, it is because the Mets game, this one has the potential for rain. It, there's rain in the forecast, but we are hours, many hours away from game time, so it could easily change. You know, it could get worse. It could be better than um, what we see right now. But um, this is a line that I'm going to be taking as long as the weather does uh, hold up. We're not going to get like a late game delay that possibly turns into a early finish or um, a mid game early delay that we have to suspend the game or something. Like, I want to play this because we know we're going to get Patrick Corbin on the mound pitching five, six innings. That's the guy we want to target here. Francisco Lindor, he's been better, at least in terms of the power against left-handed pitchers this year. Um, his other stats are kind of, you know, kind of like pretty much even, really, uh, from both sides of the plate. And now, I, it's good because Patrick Corbin, he's a lefty, so... You're getting more power, uh, most likely, uh, for Lindor in this one. But Patrick Corbin, just another pitcher that hasn't been great. Um, he's kind of the opposite of Jordan Lyles. Uh, 5.01 ERA, but expected to be a lot worse. And, I mean, when you look at a 6 ERA, you're just terrible. And Washington, it's not like a terrible pitcher's park, or a terrible hitter's park. 
um, either way. So, uh, yeah, it's not like he's a course pitcher. So it's uh, Corbin's just not a good pitcher right now um, for the past few years now. So definitely want to attack him. And then you look at the Nationals bullpen, just another similar situation with Lyles. Um, two teams that are not trying to win. So they don't have the best bullpen. And going to be set up really well for Lindor here. Um, in terms of the pitches... Um, not showing up for whatever. Oh, right here. Um, sinker, slider, mostly. So for Lindor hitting the sinker and the slider. Um, right here. Not the best, they're actually negative. But something that I always will look at is the expected stats showing that he is going to be, he's going to have more success um, in the future as things even out. And as for the other pitchers, the fastball and the changeup, uh, those are actually his two best pitches. So. Um, that's great to see. Hard hit rates pretty solid against all those pitches, and uh, with the slider, um, like Lindor, he's gonna have the platoon advantage uh, later on again with the platoon advantage. So, um, just a good spot. I think the Mets, um, they also have, yeah, 5.5 .5 run total as well, but uh, plus 115 on the over for this one, and the, the Mets. Uh, well, the another thing actually I forgot to mention is the stolen base upside. So. For Lindor, he also, at least for HRR, um, he does have a 2.5 line as well, plus 125. Um, and that's actually shifted up. He was at 1.5 just on the over earlier. But the stolen base odds I need to mention, plus 290 for Lindor, that's really good for him. Um, he's usually at like plus kind of like 400 or so. Um, that is because of this match against the Nationals. Kerber Ruiz is one of the worst. He actually is the worst, um, but just showing Riley Adams as well who is going to, would be the other catcher. So in terms of where the catchers rank, Kerber Ruiz, he has a negative 10 run value. Uh, this is on steals to second base. And he's caught 3 out of 55. So if you're stealing it, they've been successful 52 out of 55 times against Kerber Ruiz. That's just terrible. Um, it, it's like, basically if you're running, you're going to be able to steal second. And when I was showing the Nationals, so... Ruiz, he's caught three games in a row, so that's my issue that he might rest. Um, catchers usually don't, you know, catch that many games consecutively. Uh, Riley Adams would be the other guy, and Riley Adams also is negative. He's only caught two of eighteen, so I'm really not concerned about that. But obviously, the bigger sample size, Ruiz, he's just such an easy target. You want him behind the plate, but I'm really not like concerned like i wouldn't say oh i don't want to pick this play if adam starts behind the plate rather than Ruiz because it's a really good hitting spot and he's still a plus 290 so the chances are he's not going to be stealing a base and with when that's the case then it's not going to come down to whether who's catching it's going to come come down to who's on the mound and lenore he's going to be able to do damage should be able to against patrick corbin and that bullpen so that's just a thing that i do need to mention uh, but yeah, just the rain, I think, is probably the overall, uh, the biggest concern here. Just hopefully it's a clean game. We are going to play nine innings. So Lindor over seven. And then the third and final play, we're going to go to pitcher strikeouts with Bailey over over five. His odds currently over 5.5 set at plus 100. So basically implied 50-50 uh, to go over or under or, or over uh, because under is minus 130. But um, I think these odds could shift, or at least this prop could bump to 5.5 because the Royals people think that they do strike out a lot. And um, I think people think that the Royals, they strike out more than uh, what people believe. Uh, but it's actually, they strike out less than what people believe is what I mean. Because the Royals against right-handed pitchers, 24.2% K rate, that is sixth, but recently... I believe they have actually been king a little bit less. Yeah, 22.9, that's well, four, tied for 14, but this is all bunched up here. Um, that's because Nicky Lopez is now back healthy. Um, Kyle Isbell is healthy. Like, th their lineup, they don't, they still have a few high-K guys, but they do have, like, a, like Michael Garcia, who's been called up, who's typically does strike out less. He's been striking out a little bit more because it is the majors, but just guys like that that, don't really have like a 30 plus k per or percent um k rate and so the odds i think could shift just because people like uh taking pitchers strikeout props over against the royals but i like this one still because bailey Ober he has really good case stuff 
Chase rate ranks in the 93rd percentile with us at 59. Its K rank is only at 60, so this could bump or this could move up because of that chase rate it's gonna be able to help this increase. So I like Ober. I think he his chances of getting six are more likely than him getting four. So that's why I'm playing this one. And when you do have the safety, uh, the push safety of five, because I do think he at least gets five. If he doesn't get six, we're getting five. We'll take the push. So I like this one as the third pick. Um, if Lindor happens to the game happens to be postponed, or there's definitely significant risk, then you replace it with Freddie Freeman hitter fantasy score. That would be the other pick that I'll give you, just kind of as a backup. Um, I like his under if you play an underdog, twelve point five different scoring system but you could kind of middle it I guess over 8.5 here you have a four point cushion but remember doubles and walks are worth an extra point over there stolen bases are worth an extra one over on prize picks so this one would be kind of the backup pick in case but these are the three official ones I'm giving in this video Correa, Lindor, and Bailey Ober so those are the three picks for this Saturday July 29th and will be video because there is no uh, no WNBA games for today so thank you guys for watching as always hopefully we do have Another successful day, back to back, going five and six for the two wax on Flux Friday, and gonna try to get this three for three on Saturday. So thank you guys for watching. Good luck on this slate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.